because Kyra might be in a one-on-one -on -one there too. Thank you, Sarah. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Well, welcome, everyone. Uh, it's great to see so many of you. Um, it feels like it was just yesterday where I saw so many familiar faces um, when we were making that incredible run last season, uh, one of the definite highlights of our program thus far. So. Seeing everybody means that basketball season is here again. So excited to see your faces and excited for the upcoming season. I, I just think, you know, even heading into the off season, you know, we finished as, uh, I guess the sixth best team in the country. And then in, you know, some of the, the preseason rankings, we weren't even mentioned or, you know, we're mentioned near the bottom. So there's a big drop. So I think, you know, a lot of people maybe on the outside are saying, well, Nas Hillman is no longer there. You know, Michigan women's basketball can't, you know, stay at that level of play. And I think for the players in our program, that's really a challenge. And that's something that every day excites us. And that's something that kind of gives you that little bit of a chip on your shoulder and that feistiness of we have something to prove. Well, me personally, she, she gave me confidence. Coach Rico, she really like built confidence in me. She like wants you to play to your strength. She wants you to go out there. She doesn't hold you back from anything. And I feel like that's the biggest thing for me. I think with Coach Rico, what's so impressive about her is just how hard she gets her teams to play. Finish it! She's really created a team culture here, just one through 15 of people, whether you're playing or not, who are gonna show up every single day and you know put their all into it. And I think that starts with just how she coaches every single day in practice. You know, it just carries down to even our managers, I think everyone just wants to go as hard as possible to achieve the goals we want. Go get it, Kyra! Okay, 22, ah, you gotta finish it! Here we go! Hustle it back, hustle it back! We gotta get as many shots as we can! Hustle it back! Good. Good job, Elise. Way to have a motor, Elise. Yeah, one of the one of the things I guess I, I learned early on um, is that you're only gonna be successful if you're surrounded by people, great people, and people that help you get to where you wanna be and people that are like minded. You wanna come to a place where you are surrounded by like minded people. For me, it's the people. Those are the people you get to go to work with every day. Those are the people that you get to lean on. And when you're having tough days, they pick you up or pour into you, as Layla says. And when you're having great days, you get to celebrate those moments with them. Golly, I had players that 10 years ago believed that they could come to the University of Michigan and that they could make a difference and they could do something that has never been done before. What we used to talk about was hanging a banner. 
you know, let's be the first team that ever hung a banner for women's basketball at the University of Michigan. And now after this season, there'll be three banners that are hanging up there in those rafters. And that's because of the people that came here and believed that they could do it. Am I looking at you or the camera? Also, if I mess up, can I be like, all right, can we? Yeah. I would say just as a senior, um, things are starting to click. I've been maintaining like, you know, my work ethic, everything like that. So nothing's changed from that perspective, um, but really just staying the course on con controlling what I can control. She's just really stepped into the role and in her past years, there's been point guards, so she hasn't had the opportunity, but now I think she's really embracing it and she's worked for this moment and I think it's all coming to fruition and she couldn't be more ready. One of our core values is competitive greatness and like what does that mean and what does that look like? A hundred percent of the time, every possession, every possession, that's competitive greatness. That's trying to win. Just the competition aspect, showing up to practice every day. I'm really going at each other. They hit you in the face. Get here, y'all gotta get strong. Get around and give a good hard pass. You're willing to lay your body out on the line for your team, that just shows the ultimate sacrifice. We want it to be competitively great at every single thing that we do. If you don't push yourselves and you don't challenge yourselves and go as hard as you can in every rep that you get, you're not, you're not being competitively great and you're not getting in elite level conditioning. Knock it down. We're trying to win, we're trying to do it the right way, but we're trying to be as competitive as we can. Even thinking about tomorrow and kind of thinking about our program, thinking about our old people, Leah, Maddie, Michelle, the last first time, the last first game, you know, same time you think about the freshmen that are going through it and putting on that Michigan uniform for the first time. But it's really, it's really special, right, Em? It's something different. And when you graduate and you become an old lady like me, you always dream about maybe putting that uniform on again. But there's nothing like it, and you're going to play in old lady leagues, and some of you may play professionally, and some of you may play overseas, but there will be nothing like putting on that Michigan uniform and representing this Block M and this incredible university. Our ultimate goal for this season is to win a Big Ten championship and then go on to win a national championship. Obviously, Big Ten champions are, is a goal every year that you know we try to set forth. I'd say two big ones, Final Four and Big Ten Championship. Our hunger for that is at an all-time high. We're really excited to be able to prove ourselves this year. Yes! 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 You know, we are here to, to win. We want to win. We want to win for Michigan.